y'all. It's Ashton here, Scott and Michelle's oldest daughter with Heritage Farms Texas. I guess I'm executive in training or something like that. It is snowing in Dallas. Hopefully you can see it. Some pretty big snowdrops out here. And that made our weekend a little bit shorter than planned. I actually went out to the farm on Friday and helped us get some painting done on some of our fence posts. So you'll see some videos of that coming up. You'll also see some videos of us traveling down to our T2 pasture. It's beautiful, it's wooded little drive. So I wanted to show you that. We feed some heifers because cows are gonna be hungry and it's nice and cold there. So I wanted to get them some food. We also worked on our fence project more trap at T2. Dad welded some posts last week, so we went ahead and put some OSPO on that. You'll get to see that, it's a rust inhibitor. Really cool video there. And then you'll also get to see my dad go and wire them later with barbed wire. So that'll be really cool to see. Also, we just went and checked on all the cattle. So you'll see some pictures of them, us feeding them, getting them ready for the cold weather. And yeah, it was a short weekend down at Heritage Farms, Texas, because we wanted to get home before all the snow came to Dallas. And yeah, uh, please hit the subscribe button. It was so nice to meet y'all. I'm going back to Galveston to finish out my last few months of medical school. And so I hope to see y'all soon. Hit the subscribe button. Glory be to God. Hey y'all. We are gonna go feed.
see y'all Ashton here bringing some feet to these babies. You can see how excited they are. And they're like, why are you filming us? Getting camera shy. These are our peppers, our babies. Not really bait, but they're not full grown cattle yet. So we're just feeding them and getting them all grown up. Gonna give them some feed. Just fed them. They're pretty happy with me. See the white one's got some curly hair. Alrighty, I'll let them eat in peace. But some happy cows, happy hungry cows. Hey y'all, Ashton here, feeding the heifers again. It's a beautiful morning here, got some frost on the ground. Got some happy, happy cows. Hey y'all, Ashton here, out with my puppers, Sadie. We are painting or getting ready to paint these pipes that my father well did last weekend. So, Sadie girl, Sadie, say hello. <laughs> these, we have already put the rust inhibitor on. As you can see, it gets kind of weird and bubbly as the reaction carries out. It's a little bit darker and that reaction will set overnight. And we're about to do this set over here. Hey y'all, just wanted to show you this specific pipe had a really strong reaction. It kind of looked really cool to see how this rust stuff reacts with the pipe. You can see it kind of changes the color almost instantly as the reaction takes place. Kinda cool. Let's see. Awesome. Come on, Sadie, you can keep up. Hey, guys. Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Okay, what are we doing today? Well, it's Saturday, and it's right before a major cold front's coming through. Tonight into tomorrow, they're forecasting that we're gonna get somewhere in the neighborhood of one to three inches of snow. So Sunday is gonna be a mess. So we've been getting it all day today, trying to make stuff happen. We've been burning brush. You can see Dale, the Kubota over there with the brush pile. There's virtually no wind today. It was heavy, heavy frost this morning, uh, 30 degrees, cold 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 but hey what did we do we came in here and we strung six strands of bob wire so we are working on this trap slowly making progress and uh, at least we got this one side completed we'll be hanging gates over here pretty soon we also did a little uh tractor work took out a couple of small cedar trees around the base of that just because we don't need that much shade in here but uh, the main thing that's going on right now is we're burning brush over there. So uh, trying to get this brush pile burnt before uh, all the snow and everything hits. So uh, you can see he's actually lifting one end of a long log that was there and uh, trying to pick it up to get some uh, air underneath it so we can get the fire started 
I've been working on this brush pile all day today. It was really wet, It was so we had a tough time getting it started. We kind of been fighting it all day long, but uh, we've nursed it along, and we're finally starting to make some progress here. So, all right, guys. Well, hey, once again, this was my first attempt at actually welding. This was my first attempt of actually welding metal pipe fence. And I'm no professional welder, but uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with the uh, end braces here. You know, the whole theory is, you know, you anchor your wire to this one. This post right here supports that one. And this post supports these two with one bar all the way across the top. So the theory is, you know, as this fence tries to pull in that direction, this post and this post will keep that one from tilting. That's the theory. It's a pretty short strand though. It's only like 120 feet or something. So uh, not too bad and uh, pretty happy. We're making progress. Heritage Farms. More to follow guys. Hey, glory be to God. Hope you have a great weekend. Snowy in Texas. Sadie girl. Sadie, come come. Sadie, come here. Look, Sadie.